Ladies and gentlemen, I made a sky bridge. There are many like it, but mine was the greatest and the first, and it very literally touched the top of the sky, and anyway. Okay, let me back up. Fortnite is Epic's new build and survive game, which might make you think of Minecraft, but it's really not much like Minecraft at all outside of an on-paper description. Fortnite is very much an action game that includes collecting and building, not to mention MMO-style classes and a progression system. This leads to a pretty interesting game flow in which the first half of a co-op match is nice, peaceful, and collection-oriented, while the second half devolves into all-out chaos. Co-op mode is basically Epic's love affair with Survive Against Waves of Baddies-style horde modes taken to the next level. They've doused themselves in perfume and bought one of the really nice $20 bouquets from the grocery store, because they want this one to be really special. The basic idea is that you're not defending against waves of cartoony undead right off the bat. Rather, you and a few friends must first roam around semi-open levels and collect supplies to build whatever fortifications you might need around whatever object you're defending, usually a small teleporter that needs to power up. Enemies are numerous and actually quite clever, so good base building is a necessity. Even ultra-high walls and super sturdy roofs don't guarantee victory, as certain enemy types just fling others to, straight to the peaks of your man-made mountain. I don't remember that enemy type's name, but I took to calling them Fuck, 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 no, ah, get it, get it, get it, fuck! So maybe you'll make some kind of a trap-ridden maze, go all tower defense on them. Or perhaps the randomly generated level has given you some kind of natural choke point. Leverage that. Build a couple auto turrets to mow down enemies as they dutifully march on your walls. I ended up doing things like that, and I feel like there's room for even more. That said, building is far more simplistic than in something like Minecraft, with preset blueprints allowing you to rapidly toss up basic structures like walls, stairs, and roofs. They basically build themselves. That might not sound like much, but you can make modifications to each structure's shape and add things like doors and windows. More importantly, insta-building serves an important purpose given that this is, first and foremost, an action game. There's no time to assemble a fully functional Death Star piece by piece when some shambling jerk is chomping on your shoulder blade. A tiny defensive hovel that you can throw up in five seconds, though? Now we're talking. The potential for madcap rapid building shenanigans is even greater in competitive multiplayer. In the mode we played, which was more a proof of concept than an actual mode, in fairness, each team started on one side of the map and was tasked with defending uh, unicorns, like, like the ride that you find outside of the grocery store. It was funny, but again, placeholder. Actual human opponents made everything significantly less predictable and much more frantic. Think you're safe to build out front? Maybe not. There might be some putrid, mean-spirited excuse for a human being, by which I definitely mean myself, taking pot shots at you every time you stick your head out. Collecting supplies to even build a base around your unicorn is tough too, but in an interesting way. I ended up putting defenders, and sometimes attackers, on double duty, having them briefly mine supplies each time they spawned. Then they'd hand them over to our designated builder and jet off to their real task. Impressive strategies evolved from there. For instance, I heard about people crossing bridges and throwing down walls to evade pursuers. Or they'd build walls around themselves while attacking the unicorn. The other team would then have to knock those down before it could even protect its own object. Also, as competitive matches went on, waves of zombies started attacking both bases, and people took to training hordes of them on their opponents, creating distractions that could chip away at the unicorn. The important thing to note about these strategies is that we came up with them on the fly. These weren't baked into the game. We just sort of looked at our options and said, hey, we should try that. I was surprised, to be honest. I think competitive multiplayer might have actually been more fun than co-op, Fortnite's main mode. Co-op kind of worries me, actually. It's fun enough, and random map generation plus a rather sophisticated AI director mean a lot can happen, but the general flow of it always felt the same. After a few hours of it, I didn't really want to play anymore. Competitive, however, left me itching for another match the day afterward. I was also shocked by how flimsy and weightless combat felt. This is epic we're talking about. Gears of War had some of the meatiest baddies this side of Sumo Superstars 2014, which is a game I just made up because I can't think of a game with meatier enemies than Gears. Also, once upon a time Epic released a physics tech demo that, I kid you not, starred a literal cube of meat. They know meat. Fortnite doesn't really have meat. It's disconcerting, to say the least. I enjoyed what happened while I was playing Fortnite, but it didn't feel that good to play. It's kind of bizarre. 
Certain systems and ideas, for instance building and progression, felt pretty fully realized, but other elements hardly felt like they belonged in a game that's been in development for so many years. And I understand, because this one has undergone some pretty significant changes since it started development. But still, right now Fortnite is kind of like its own aesthetic, all duct tape and crooked screws holding pieces of wildly varying quality together. I hope that changes as development progresses. Oh, but I did build a sky bridge. Guess I should explain that. Fortnite's cartoon physics let me build stairs on top of each other until I reached the top of the game world. I built a nice little cabin up there. Then a friend destroyed the one flimsy object that served as my bridge's foundation, like I said, cartoon physics, and I watched as the entire thing collapsed piece by piece, with me on it. I plummeted into oblivion, and it was glorious.